So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change the Windows 7 boot logo and the boot text on the boot screen. To do this we're going to use a free tool called Windows 7 Boot Up Data. So to get the software you need to head over to the page in the description and that page is codersforlife.com and on this page you'll be able to download the Windows 7 Boot Up Data and it's only just over half a meg so you can download that pretty quickly. You can then save it to anywhere on your computer, so I've just saved it on the desktop. So if we run the software, it obviously shows user account control, and then it starts the software. Now I have prepared a logo to change, um, or to exchange it with, and that is just simply a logo that I created in the previous video where I did the same thing on Windows 8. And if you haven't seen the one on Windows 8, then click on the button on screen now to go and see that. So if you're on Windows 7, you'll know that the boot logo screen looks something like this. So you have the Windows flag, the starting Windows text and the Microsoft tag at the bottom. All of these elements can be changed so you can change the logo to a static image and you can also change it to an animation and you, you can also change the two text uh, labels on the screen as well. So on the left hand side there is the animation uh, box and here we have the default static image and animation uh, option. Default will obviously load the standard Windows 7 logo and the static image will allow you to select an image um, that will appear and an animation will allow you to tag lots of images together to make an animation. So for this we're going to use a static image and we're going to choose the logo that I created earlier so as you can see it's going to look something like this when it boots up so if you play it it'll be a static image like that obviously you could use a animation and what that does is it allows you to put lots of images together and it will make the animation in the program so here we can change the background so for example we could have blue obviously because the text and the picture has black background then it's going to show it on black in here so we're going to put that back to black so that it blends in and there's obviously a method simple and complete which allows us to customize it in a different way basically next is the messages tab and we can have two messages or one message and this basically says you know one or the other so we're going to leave the Microsoft tag at the bottom uh, we're going to leave that as it is and to change the starting windows label we're going to click on message 2 and we can change the font colour to something else, for example blue and we can also change the text so um, I'm going to change it to something else um, so when it boots now it will uh, say starting windows you poor sod and this will be displayed as it is shown on the uh, thumbnail here so obviously playing it there's no animation um, but you can obviously put your own in and to basically apply this, all we need to do is hit apply and it updates the bootrest DLL file so that it can load the images into it and it should say successfully updated and hit OK. Next if we restart the computer we should see the new boot logo. So here it's booting up into Windows and you can see the new logo has been applied and the starting Windows you poor sod label has also appeared. Obviously you can go into the program and change this again and it will pick up the settings that you had previously so that you can then customise it further. So if you haven't seen the Windows 8 uh, logo changer then remember to click on the button on screen now and that will take you to the previous video where I showed you how to change the boot logo in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Thanks for watching this video, please like, rate, comment and subscribe and remember to check out benstechtips.net for more tutorials.